today we are going to talk about this topic which is not particularly life threatening but does affect many men especially those who are, who are currently married because it leads to loss of confidence as well as possibly depression so this topic we are talking about today is called erectile dysfunction as usual we have Professor Wong Pang Ong here today with us who is a well known TCM physician in Singapore so we will first start off with Professor Wong Pang Ong王医师 so, as you mentioned, uh, erectile dysfunction is actually initially known as impotence, but it brings about a negative connotation to patients with it. So, it has been renamed into erectile dysfunction, which means that males who have erectile dysfunction frequently are unable to erect their penis to maintain a normal, healthy sexual activity. Yangwei 问题的那一些比较多有心无力有力无心还有无心无力三种所以 uh, uh, we usually uh, classify the erectile dysfunction into a few types because erectile to maintain an erection is actually pretty complicated first of all there is the stimulus around the penis itself which sends a signal back to the brain uh, around the area of called limbic cortex then it sends out impulses through the sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, nervous system the cells which maintains the erection it would then cause a dilation or the, the blood vessels actually become bigger to maintain blood flow to the penis itself that is how an erection comes about so erectile dysfunction actually is caused by several reasons the most commonly is because of psychological so psychological can be because the person has depression the person is anxious so all this leads to performance anxiety Another cause can be things like the trauma, such as surgery. So some patients undergo a prostatectomy, which means they have removed their prostate, and it might accidentally injure the nerve itself which supply it. And that there can be things like a neurogenic cause. So neurogenic cause are things which affect the nerves. As I mentioned just now, surgery is one of the reasons how it can affect the nerve. Other things can be things like diabetes. Diabetes is one major cause of erectile dysfunction, as well as Parkinson's disease. So all these are the main, main causes for neurogenic. In addition, there are things like drugs can cause it as well. So certain drugs can impede the blood flow from flow to the penis. As I mentioned, it requires a balance between the nerves as well as the blood that's flowing through the penis. So some other patients might also have other problems such as hormonal issues, especially hormones such as testosterone, which are very important. And people, as we age, the testosterone tends to drop and leading to a problem with the maintaining the erection. Now, Wang Yishu, 因为在临床上他有心无力的人就是有色心可是他没有力一般来讲就是说这个人可能他长时间比较 
心比较活跃，或者是那个手淫的次数很多，造成他的那一个呃性的唤起有点疲劳，就是因为我们的那一个。呃，性的器官，它长时间处于战备状态，所以它得不到很好的修复，就会造成它唤起的时候，大脑唤起的时候，它从亢奋变成抑郁，所以它很多时候就会呃不会勃起，或者是勃起期的时候不能持续。还有一些是呃，就是身体比较弱的人，身体比较弱的人，一般比如说。人家跑一百米，你也跑一百米，但是人家没有事情，你就觉得气喘吁吁。所以这个东西就是，虽然他没有频繁的性生活，可是他也是不胜负荷的，这种是身体虚弱的人。哦，那这像这一类的人，我们都会用一些，比如说啊、呃，一些补的药，或者是给他那些所谓的。啊，补身体，给他强壮；补肝，补那一个气血，给他强壮。而且重点是要多休息，不能够使他太疲劳，而且心意，这个这个性生活要节制。哦，这个是讲的是有心无力的。哦，对。那有什么样的方子，在中医可以给你的疗愈？方子，像这一类的，很多时候我们都会用一些，比如说啊。呃中医去汤啊，因为它正属于那种疲劳性的啊，六味地黄啊，这些都可以啊、呃。比如说黄芪，黄芪它本身就能够使我们修复我们本身的那一些主要的那一个气的功能，能够尽快的修复身体的那一些呃所谓的那一些亚健康状态。那在那些。啊，因为你的情志方面的问题，这些能够治疗。呃，情志方面的，它主要是建立在，就是说有利有利无心的，有利无心的，就是主要就是说，他可能跟夫妻之间可能有一些问题，所以他一种赌气的一种方式，到当他在性唤起的时候，他是有利。可是呢，他对于这个对方的这种厌恶感，所以造就了他的勃起可能有障碍，或者是不完全勃起，像这一类的，或者是因为他的那一个工作太疲劳，哦，他的那个就像我们的电器这样，插头那边的那一个转换器不能够转换过来这个平台，所以他也会有这个问题。像这一类的，我们一般会用。说啊，逍遥散啊，啊，柴胡疏肝汤啊，这一类的药来作为治疗哦。So for the way that we treat mental dysfunction is mainly divided into different categories. So we start with first the non-medication. Blood flow is one of the most important thing to maintain erection. So we highly recommend people to actually exercise because. Be, having a regular exercise will maintain a good cardiovascular function, and therefore the blood flow to the penis itself will be good. So hence, this will help to improve the to maintain an erection. So if this doesn't work, we sometimes recommend medications. So medications that are given are, are frequently known as Viagra, as most people know it. So what Viagra actually does is it actually helps to dilate the blood vessel to help to maintain. The blood flow to the penis. So these are also known as PDE,、uh, a form of PDE medication. Other than that, there's also other、uh, drugs that we can give. So sometimes we give things through directly the penis itself. They can be an injection or they can be a medication that is directly put into the urethra, which is the, the place that urine comes out from from the penis. So these are also other alternatives that can be done. So in addition, there can be other surgeries, but usually we will first move on to the non-medication one before before we move on to surgeries. There are also other methods such as a, a penis pump. So where you actually put a pump to the penis itself and help to pump up the penis to maintain the erection. Now, Wang Yishi, there is some things you can eat that can. 那是男性可以更好的运作吗？呃，一般来讲，在临床上
那一种所谓的那一个能够壮阳的药。一般来讲，壮阳一般在中医里面，多数是用在呃所谓的那一个呃无心无力那一些年纪比较大的雄性激素比较低的哦那一些的时候，就会用到这些。比如说用那个左归丸呐、啊、二仙汤啊这一类的哦，但是因为这个东西很多时候，呃，一个性活动，就是说性活动本身就是要建立在那个色心，色心就是说你能够享受这个性活动的过程，呃，喜欢这个过程哦。然后呢，很多时候啊、呃，还要有健康的身体为基础。如果你没有健康的身体或者强壮的身体，你在这一个呃性活动中，你要消耗很多的体力哦，你根本做不到好的那一个那个动作，或者是能够长时间的维持这样好的一个一个一个，就是在性活动中中的一个呃。表现哦，那所以这个东西，呃，很多人喜欢吃这个所谓的壮阳药哦。壮阳药本身来讲哦，如果是一个正常的人吃了，当然会会有一些帮助。但是如果吃错了，它本身可能会造成更大的影响，可能会造成负面的影响哦。但是主要在功能。性障碍的时候，心理的素质是非常重要的哦，所以要从心理舒适素质上去调整。但是很多人自己不能知不能知道到底出现什么问题，所以必须要您去看医生啊，给大家讨论一下，那个真诚的把内心掏出来，大家啊讨论一下，避免说你到最后的时候。自己默默的，呃，把这个这个病，这个可以说是一个病哦。如果你年轻的话，可能遭遇了婚姻的问题哦。那在您看的一一些病人里面呢，通常他们需要治疗多久才可以解决这个阳痿的问题呢？一般如果不是气质上的问题的话，那功能上的问题，大概两三个月都会。帮助的，因为这个东西很多时候我们都会从啊、呃、调整病那个患者的心态啊、呃，调整他的技巧，或者是一呃做再给他一些辅助的一些中药的调理，一般呃效果都不错的。嗯，好，那我们今天就谢谢王医师上我们的节目来。So if you guys have any questions, you just leave us a comment below, and if you want to talk about any topic, you can also leave us. And if you like our video, you can just like and subscribe. Thank you very much.